Hello everyone and welcome to our first video in a series of videos that are designed to help us review some basic topics that we should be in command of as we begin Comp 121 here at Franklin University. With that, this first video is going to be a discussion of primitive data types and variables. So I have BlueJ open and you should probably go ahead and just try to work along with me in your own version of BlueJ as we go and pause the video as you need to. And that way, you're not just listening to the material and absorbing it, but you're also actively participating, which is one of the best ways to learn programming. So with that, let's go ahead and start a new class here, and we're just going to create a class name called Driver. And all we're going to do is make a void static main in this, or a static void main in this. And so I'm going to clear out the default stuff that's there, and just go ahead and make a public static void main with a string array of arguments in there. And all I'm going to do with this is just system.out.println starting so that we can see that the code is actually being executed very easily as I run this. And I'm not passing any arguments into my constructor here, but that gives us the terminal that says starting. So we're good to go. And so a quick review of some of the basic primitive data types that we need to be in command of would be for example, the number types of int and double. We would also want to be in command of the string type, which gives us the ability to store characters. And so that also means there is a char type, which we don't use very much, but we should be aware of. And finally, we want to know about Booleans. So we have ints, doubles, strings, and Booleans are going to be our main primitive types that we're going to work with throughout our course. So you should be able to work with these very easily. And you just need to create a variable to store the data into. So integer i, for example, might be 32. Double x might be 2.50. String y might be my first program, or even your name or something else. And you can change these to practice with them if you want. Character literals need to be in a single quote. So we're just going to do a y for yes, or whatever we might be trying to represent. And this needs to have a variable name, so character ch. And we'll do a boolean is active equals false. So we have int i double x string y char or character ch and boolean is active. Now I haven't done anything to print them out, but I have stored data in those types. So what I want to do quickly now is show how we can easily print these out. And so we could do a bunch of different things. We could just do uh, system.out.println statements, or we can do concatenation with the plus symbol, or we can do a string.format. You're probably very familiar with just doing concatenation where you might do something like uh, system.out.println, and you would say, maybe I want to print out my age is plus i, for example. And when you do that, you should get a printout that says I am 32. For example, my age is 32. Great. So we know that that works, and that's one of the basic things we can leverage. But also, we could have done this with a system.out.println, which gives us the ability to format our string. We could have said my age is percent %d slash n, which gives us a new line for the slash n. And the percent %d is just a variable in our string, which we're going to replace now with the variable i. And so this will do the exact same statement twice. My age is 32, my age is 32. And so just quickly to see the rest of them printed out in a system.out.printf, let's grab this statement here. My age is percent %d slash n, and let's actually just do a slash t for a tab character. I paid dollar sign percent dot 2f to get a floating point variable or double for two decimal places. And we're going to replace that, of course, with the double X. I paid $2.50 for a uh, coffee today. And then we'll do a slash T. Uh, actually, let's do a slash N. And we'll say, this is my first program, which is going to be percent S slash N. And we're getting kind of long here. So let's wrap this maybe about right here. So we'll just do a, a quote. And we'll use another plus and quote and just shows that we can go across lines very easily. And we're going to bring this down just to keep things a little easier as well to manage. So we have coffee today, percent %s for my first program. 
and I like, or do I like to program? And then let's go to the next line and we'll do a percent S again. And then we'll do a slash N. And finally, we'll finish up with this course is active. We'll do this uh, colon, and then we'll just do a percent B for the Boolean slash N. And that gives us a fully formatted string. Now we just need to replace all our variables. So the first one was the age. The second one was our double for the price of the coffee. The third one was the variable for our first program. And do I like to program as a character? And finally, the is active Boolean, and we'll do is active. And that gives us the ability to print out all of our primitive types. And we've seen how they're all stored in our string. So we see starting my age is 32, my age is 32. I paid 250 for a coffee today, my first program. Do I like to program? Yes. This course is active, false. And so if we change this, of course, to true, it means it's time to start our course and it is active. And there we go. So that is a quick review of primitive data types and variables, as well as how we can quickly work with them to print out to the screen and store some data in them. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.